Thank you, DeviantArt, for all of the wonderful tools you've created for us over the years. But if you don't mind, I do have one very simple question. Why is it that the most simple and obvious things are overlooked absolutely every single time that there are upgrades? We can copy and move just about anything to just about anywhere at this point, and I do thank you for the convenience of that feature, but what about the scraps folder? Why is moving anything into scraps still the painstaking pain in the ass that it's always been? We still have to, one, click into the deviation itself, two, click the edit option to get into the deviation editor, then three, we need to click the option to change the category. Four, locate the category. Five, click on the category. Six, click the OK button in order to set the category changes in place. Seven, scroll all the way down to resave the deviation again. Eight, click the option for saving the deviation. Then nine, it's a little tricky to refine the place again to go back to the next one. So why is there still this almost 10 step process when the the function that already exists for moving and copying deviations, I don't see why it wouldn't be easy enough to just add scraps in under the move options. Um, I kind of fail to see why that hasn't been implemented a long time ago. Then of course we have a similar issue in the DeviantArt Message Center when we are browsing the deviations that we want to favorite. Um, we have the option to move anything into folders, as it were, but unfortunately it's a completely isolated um, folder system that I only started using and immediately stopped using once I realized that it was just, it didn't go anywhere, it didn't do anything, it didn't make anything available to anyone, so what's the point? So here's the big question. Why not allow us to move these things to where we're wanting to move them in the first place? Our favorites folders. I mean, am I just completely crazy here? Or have I maybe stumbled upon something obvious that's, again, been overlooked? And as long as this is a DA film deviation anyway, um, lastly, let's cover one of the newest pet peeves as per this journal that I wrote about do you have a DA film account. Um, I said that if you've not given your invite away yet, please drop a note to Demi Lou. She's really desperate for one. Sucks that DA only lets you give one invite ever. Ridiculous. I could understand allowing one every 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, or even once a year. But once ever? Oh, for goodness sakes, and I replace the word goodness with a colorful metaphor, as you can read on the screen. But anyway, yeah, I mean, what are you guys, rounding or something? Come on, you know, be, let's be a little more flexible with the system. I can understand wanting to reduce the whole idea of people just giving away invites to everyone constantly just for the sake of it and the DA, you know, film part of it just being spammed with garbage and nonsense. I can understand wanting to avoid that, but, you know, it's too strict. You're not really allowing for it to efficiently grow. You're bottlenecking it. You're capping it off. You're limiting its productivity. So limit how often we can invite somebody, but don't make it one invite ever. Come on, it's ridiculous.
There's no point in talking about Linux if I can't edit my videos and record at Linux. I would say the Windows counterpart would be Sony Vegas Pro, and that's saying a lot. Kaden, I, 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 I.